Hello, it's Michael Danber with MilitaryCAC.com. I just got my new ID card this morning, so I need to get my PIV activated. This is a Windows 10 computer, so it's me running Active Client 7.1.0.153. That's a current version that's available on AKO. So you can see, you can see my certificates. There's only three there. I am dual persona, so I need to activate my PIV certificate. So we need to first verify that we have a few things up to date on the computer first. These are all outlined on militarycac.com slash PIV. So we're going to go there, militarycac.com. And even so. It's a 64-bit computer, so I'm just going to do pound 64-bit. I'll create links to the top. So you can see we have to have 64-bit active identity, 710153 for Windows 10 users. We have to make sure we have Java installed. So let's verify we have Java. Windows 10, right-click in the Windows logo, go to Apps and Features. We're going to scroll down to Java. I'm not seeing Java on here, so let's go back up again. So we'll do another direction. We're going to go here to Java. So I don't have Java installed. Perfect. So what we're going to do on this one is for 64-bit, we need to have Java. So we're going to go to this location and select Windows Offline 64-bit. Windows Offline 64-bit. We're going to install it because it's a 64-bit operating system. If you're not sure how to find out, right-click this. Go to System. And you will then see... 64-bit operating system. So we're installing Java. 64-bit, it must match. So for the PIV activation site to work, if your operating system is 64-bit, your active client must be 64-bit, your Java must be 64-bit, and you must run your web browser in 64-bit mode. So while it's doing that, let's go back to Military CAC and verify this. So we have to add three websites. We'll come back to that in a minute. So Internet Explorer, we're going to enable 64-bit processes. You do that by going to the gear, Internet Options, Advanced tab, Scroll to the bottom. And you're going to see this enhance, enable 64-bit process for enhanced protected mode. I'm going to hit apply on that. We only have to restart the browser, not the actual entire computer on this point. So Java is now installed. So we need to also add in three URLs to our Java exceptions. So I'm going to right click the Windows logo, go to control panel, which I'm not finding it here now. So We'll just type control panel in the search box. Go to Java. Security. Minimize. All right. So we need to have three websites added. So we're going to edit the site list. Add. The three websites are HTTPS, PKI.DMDC.OSD.MIL. HTTPS going slash slash triple w dot dmdc dot osd dot mil and one more which is going to be HTTPS IDCO dot dmdc dot osd dot mil <clears throat> so the three URLs are added we've got Java 64 bit on here so we should be set to give it a try I'm going to close the browser reopen it again Internet Explorer if you don't have Internet Explorer you can type internet into your browser here right click it you can pin the taskbar mine's already there so I'm launching Internet Explorer again the website we need to go to you can't see it it is www.dmc.mil slash self underscore service
Hmm. Okay. We're going to sign in. We're going to hit OK. We're going to select our CAC. We're going to select your ID certificate. So right now you're seeing email. I'm going to do more choices and go to ID. Make sure it's your new card. You're still seeing my old card on here as well. So it's going to be the CA43, which is the one that was issued today, 20, which is yesterday for some reason. Okay, my pin. All right, I paused it for a few moments because it took quite a while to get logged in. So I'm going right here to my CAC. I'm going to activate my PIV certificate. Do not ever click Add PCC on UPN. If you do that, you're going to add a dot letter, and you're going to have to take your card back to the ID card office and get a new one made. So we're going to activate the PIV certificate. We're going to proceed. We're going to allow for all websites for Java to run. Now we're going to activate the PIV again. Proceed once again. And say later for Java. It's reading data from the card. Accept the risks. Run. Accept the risk again. Run again. I'm going to pause the video for a second. For some reason on that screen, it, it sees the pin. It does not mask it like every other website in the world does. So that's why I paused the video so you don't see me entering my pin. It shows it up on the screen for some reason. You see it's reading the PIV certificate. Okay, it's still not activated yet. You have to still click Update CAC. And it goes through the process again. You have to go through all this the rigmarole one more time. This process can be quick, it can be slow. Depends on your internet connection. Now this time, what's weird is it will not let you type in the pin in succession. You have to literally click every single time. You have to click after the after the asterisk every time in order to get the the your number to type in the screen. I have no idea why it does that, but I have been seeing it do that more often lately. So entering the pin seems to be the issue, not hard. So the first time it does it, it doesn't mask it. And it still does the same thing. You have to literally type one number, click it with your mouse right afterwards, type the second number, and vice versa till you get to your six, seven, or eight digit pin. Okay, it says it's been activated. So let's go look. So we go back into Active Client. We go to My Certificates. And now we see four certs. So the PIV has been activated. This is another uh, video for you from militarycac.com. Have a great day, y'all. Take care.